What's going on everybody? It's your boy Zalf Gamer, and I am back for a vlogging adventure. And today we're here in Tampa, Florida to see if they got some of the new products in for Pokemon. We're looking for the Cyclozar EX box or any of the new Crown Zenith figurine box collections. So that will be either the Zamazenta or the Zacian, and they are both the shiny versions, I believe they are. So guys, we're gonna hope for some of those products today and see if we can find some other things too. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and let's start off with store number one. All right guys, we're here at store number one now. We see a Mimi Q EX box and a Crown Zane with more Pico boxes here and there. However, if you look over here, we have found the new Crown Zana stuff, and this is the shiny Zacian. Don't see the Zamazenta, but we also see the new Cyclozar EX box as well. So we found two things there. Awesome. They also got booster packs, singles there, some ETBs there as well. So good start. So let's go ahead and head to Toys, see what they got there, and head to the next store. Let's go. 12 seconds later. All right, we're here in Toys, and actually very impressed. They do have some stuff, so haven't seen the three card promo blisters with the two packs there in a while, so that's cool to see that. More single packs here and there with their promo cards. Some plushies, some tins, uh, but they do have some celebration boxes, Pichu V boxes, Dialga boxes. So we might pick up some stuff here as well, guys. So really good finds here for store number one. Let's go ahead and uh, grab what we want and head to the next store. So on to the next store, fam. A few moments later. All right, guys, we're here at the second Walmart. And uh, this is a familiar place we were in Tampa last time. So let's go. All right, guys, so we're here at the second store and they've got quite a bit of things. Uh, a lot of more Pico boxes, as you can see. Uh, Palkia, Shaman Box, uh, a couple of ETBs of Fusion Strike, good to see those again. Of course the uh, ETBs of Scarlet and Violet, a lot of booster packs, singles there for Scarlet and Violet. Uh, ooh, and the new Battle Dex EX, I don't think I'm going to go for that uh, yet. Uh, maybe down the road we'll see. And of course they got a Mimikyu EX box there, a couple of Glaceons, a couple of the new 10s, which I believe these new 10s have the... Um, the Scarlet Violet and Silver Tempest packs, but I do, I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments chat for that one. But other than that, more good finds. Don't know if I'm gonna pick up anything here though. Um, so let's go to Toys real quick, see what they got, and then we'll go to one more store. 12 seconds later. All right guys, we're here in Toys, and as you can see, they got uh, some of the hanging blister packs there. Um, and then they have one random Cyclozar EX box. I don't think it's supposed to be back here. I think it's supposed to be on the front end. Um, but nevertheless, not bad for this store as well. So guys, we're gonna go to one more store, see what they got, and we'll call it there. So let's head to the last store, fam. 20 minutes later. All right, guys, this is the last stop of the day. So we're gonna see if they got some good stuff here. Let's go. All right, guys, we're here at the last store today. As you can see, we have single booster packs, again, with some ETBs there. Uh, they do have the Crown Zane. It looks like the Zacian again, but have not found the Zamazenta this week. As far as I see, a few of the Mimi Q EX boxes, Cyclozar EX box, uh, Shaman boxes, a few other things here and there, but uh, fortunately we didn't find the Zamazenta box, so that's all right though. Uh, we're gonna go take, take a look at toys real quick and then we'll call it a day, so let's go over there. 12 seconds later. All right guys, we're here at Toys. Once again, not too bad. Some of the blister packs are hanging right there, but we found some Celebration product, as you can see, with some Glaceon. It looks like Shiny Face, yeah, Shiny Face is hiding behind there. And then, of course, these awesome Pikachu V boxes and some more Celebrations. Man, they got a lot of Celebrations. Is it telling me to pick some of them up? I don't know, I'll surprise you guys, but we are done here. So let's head back to my place and open up some product. Eventually. All right, everybody, we are back. We are ready to open some awesome products today. And starting off, we found a Celebrations Collection box with the Dark Sylveon. Of course, it has that Fusion Strike pack variant with an Evolving Skies and four of the awesome Celebration packs. Then we also picked up Dialga with more Fusion Strike packs. We have to. We're due for Fusion Strike, and hopefully we pull some stuff out of the Fusion Strike packs. But of course they have the Astral and the Lost Origin packs. But the two new products we found today, starting off with the Cyclozar EX box, uh, 
this is one of the three products we were trying to find. We got lucky. A lot of the stores had these, so glad to pick one of these up. And last but not least, and I think this is going to be a really fun box to open, the Crown Zenith Shiny Zaxxion Premium Figure Collection Box. And I was surprised. It comes with 11 booster packs along with all the awesome products inside. And uh, I can't wait to open this box up. So guys, here we go in three, two, one. All right, guys, we have our packs ready to go here. And of course, the products that came with. But before we show off everything, guys, if you are new to the channel, love Pokemon, especially pack opening, shorts, video gameplay, and more, hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you guys can catch me on the next one. And of course, like, comment, and definitely share this week's vlog video so we can share the others this awesome community. And without further ado, let's begin. And we're gonna show off first the promo card. So the Cyclazar, as you can see, you get a giant promo card there with two cards. One is the Rotom, and the other one is the Cyclazar EX. So really cool from that box. But the other box with the product is the Crown Zenith. We'll be opening that one last. And as you can see, got some really cool sleeves. Uh, I would honestly say not my favorite ones, but really cool. So that is neat. Along with the promo card Zatchian V Shiny. And of course the Shiny Zatchian figurine with pin. So really cool. I'm a pin fanatic. So I've been trying to collect for a few years now. And uh, the pin collection is growing. So glad that they came out with that. And hopefully next week we can find a Zamazenta box because we didn't find one at all. Um, this week, so all right, without further ado, we're gonna start off with the Dark Sylveon box, which comes with the one Fusion Strike, one Evolving Skies, and of course, four Celebrations packs. And I will have the big chase cards to pull out of each set as we go along. So, without further ado, let's start. And we're starting off with <laughs> everybody's favorite set Fusion Strike. And we joke about that because, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a joke, kind of a not. The joke is because of, uh, you know, just what has happened in recent weeks from a certain person uh, that stole a lot of these uh, hit cards. And it is what it is. It's not, it, guys, it's not funny. It, I hope, please, don't ever do something like that, it, especially if you work for a Pokemon company. It's really lame. Uh, Vulpix and Grand Bull, nothing out of the Fusion Strike pack. But yeah, it's nothing to joke about. Uh, it's a serious thing. And us collectors, especially me, uh, we want to pull those big chase cards. So hopefully they've got those newer packs that are going to be coming out. I'm sure Fusion Strike's going to do a reprint because of all that. But uh, we'll worry about that later. Right now, we're just going to do some pack openings. And as you can see, we got a hitter pack in the Evolving Skies. So let's call our first energy a day. Let's go Lightning. Base. Uh, okay, so we got Psychic, we got Earth Ray, Crystal Cave, Toy Catcher, Tentacool, Pumpkaboo, Bagon, love this, we got C Dot, Pumpkaboo again is the reverse, no, and a miss. Hollow, so nothing we want out of there. So that's it for the regular packs. Now we're going to four celebrations packs and see if we can maybe pull either that gold, new, or the Charizard, the two biggest hitters in the set but that ain't all there's also some really good other classic cards you can pull such as the shiny magic carb uh i believe the uh <laughs> the umbreon and many many more all right guys here we go no calling of energy because it's just four pokemon cards let's go water or <laughs> just kidding let's just go ahead and flip mew kyogre reshiram oh my gosh we start off with a Venusaur classic and like I said there's other good things in the set and that's one of them so really good to see a Venusaur in the first pack of celebrations now can we trump that can we match it with some other awesomes I don't know we'll see here we go let's see what pack number two has in store for us and I'm gonna call out light just kidding all right here we go we got a Pikachu Ah, uh, ho ho, Palkia and a Zekrom, so nothing out of the second pack. Let's go with the pack number three. You know, when I've opened these in the past, I really have never seen anything super godly in one box. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
like a Charizard and like some really other good stuff. I don't know. All right, here we go. Let's go. Another Pikachu, a, a, a Xerneas, excuse me, Kyogre, and a Dialga. So yeah, nothing there. So two dud packs. Woo! Two dud packs, unfortunately. And we're going to the last pack. Let's see if we can try to get another big hit. We'll see. I don't know. Either way, Venusaur in the box is a really good start there. And let's see what we get in the final pack. Calling five. Just kidding. All right, here we go. It's another Pikachu. Dang, what's going on with those? Reshiram, Palkia, and a Cosmonium. So just the Venusaur out of the whole box. That's fine, though. That's not bad. All right, now we go into the Dialga, which gives you two fusion strikes. <laughs> fusion strike. Uh, Astral Radiance and two Lost Origins. So we're gonna start off with, and again, <laughs> fusion strike, everybody's favorite set. I'll tell you what, I'm on, I'll am i be honest, like one of my favorite sets right now in Sword and Shield, besides the uh, subset of uh, Crown Zanus, is, is honestly Silver Tempest. I don't know why, but I just love Silver Tempest. And no, it's not because I pulled the, the alts recently, but it's just not. Nah, there's just something about that set I like. Heliolisk and Arachnid as your reverse and rare. Again, white code cards in this set. We just flip and skip because they have no trainer galleries in there. But yeah, Fusion Strike. I am... I. <laughs> It's just, it seems like we'll never hit anything until we get an actual true reprint, and it just seems like that's the way it's going. So it is, oh, that's just the way it is. And uh, hopefully good things are coming down the road in the next month or so with reprints that is. And I don't think that will be the only set to be reprinted. That's my prediction, so crossing my fingers. I think a lot of people at home watching this also are crossing their fingers for some reprints, especially on some of the older sets. Chilling Rain definitely would be one of them. Absolutely. Battle Styles would be one of them. All right. Astral Radiance. And let's see if we can pull some heat out of Astral Radiance. Now, we have a white code card, unfortunately. However, there's still a good chance to pull something big off of the uh, Trainer Gallery. So, or possibly a Radiant card. Drift Blum, Trekking Shoes, Quillfish, Oshawott, Hoot Hoot, Ponyard, Poochie, Electrode as the reverse, and Fast Legion. So nothing there, as you can see. But, yeah, hopefully we can pull some heat in Astral. We're kind of really overdue for Astral Radiance pulls, and I'm still trying to look for a decent price case of uh, Astral Radiance sleeved booster pack. So everybody's been wanting, like, I think they've been wanting to go for six hundred dollars um, on certain websites and i'm like no it's not even worth that not even close all right we got a black code card and we got a hitter pack let's see if we can hit big on here let's go uh let's go psychic for the next one it's fighting yan mega sabine karanidos we got combi chata drift loom there's my boy Psyduck, the pseudo wudo And we hit with a trainer gallery of Boba Snow. Can we make it a double banger? No, but that was a nice hit. The Boba Snow has come onto the field. Let's go into our Lost Origin pack. Can we beat out a trainer gallery hit? We will find out. And Lost Origin. Lost Origin has been pretty good with us. Uh, I wouldn't say recently, but... The last time we majorly opened uh, about 144 packs on one of our live streams, we did pull the second best uh, card in the set, which was the Altar's Aerodactyl. And we're getting a lot of V-Star markers. I can't call energies right now. All right, Lady, Machop, Schnover, Zora, Seal, Rock Rub. And there's another hit out of the reverse. And a Kofi. And a Kofi's actually not bad to pull because of the TCG deck list lost uh, like the lost box or whatever they're calling it it's still a good top tier deck um, but let me know in the comments what you guys run in your trading card games especially leagues and all that <laughs> and how good is the Meridon and the Gardevoir deck since Scarlet and Violet has come out I definitely want to know all right we got a hitter pack let's see if maybe we can get an energy call out finally we can call one let's go uh, let's go darkness energy for next one it's a grass all right, on Boma, we got Panic Mask, Rhyhorn, Warpull, Glagar, love this, Electric, we got Colrus's Experiment, and a, ooh, a Magnezone V Star. We haven't hit too many regular V Stars lately, but that's a nice hit, so very good, we'll take that. 
for sure. I'm pretty sure I have that one, but either way, nice. Now we go into some of the new products. So as you can see, four packs from the Cyclozar uh, EX box, and it actually comes with two Scarlet and Violet base packs, a Silver Tempest, and a Lost Origin. So I actually did not expect this kind of variant of booster packs, and it's really cool. So we get to try Lost Origin one more time. I was actually surprised with that variant. I didn't think they'd throw a Lost Origin in there, but they did. All right, we're starting off with a black code card. Let's see if we can hit another big card out of the set. Let's go, let's go water for the next call out. There we go, and the first dab of the day. Water, Kamala, we got Thornton, Bronzon, Murkrow, Wurmple, Clefairy, Lickitung, Horsey, we got, oh, we got a Radiant Gardevoir. Can we get the double banger? No, no double banger again. We are denied the big double banger hits. But we'll take a Radiant Gardevoir, very nice. All right, so that's it for Lost Order. Now we go into the Lonely Silver Tempest Pack. And of course, the big chase card out of there. We already pulled, like I said, from one of our last big live streams was amazing. We pulled two alt arts there, and one of them was that Lugia, and I was very happy. All we're missing, I believe, for alt arts is the stun tank. That's the only alt I'm missing. But unfortunately, we're definitely not gonna pull it this time, but let's see if we can get lucky on a trainer gallery hit. Let's go, fire. It is psychic. It's a Candace, Galele, Unidentified Fossil, Relicamp, Sandy Gas, Fungus, El Gleam, Zubat, and unfortunately, it's just a fan fee in the reverse slot with an Arcanine Rare. Now we go into the Scarlet Violet packs, and uh, we've opened quite a bit of stuff as of late. I've also opened some stuff outside of YouTube, and uh, right now my collection is looking pretty good. I've got three out of the ten SIR cards now. It was one a while back. I've been opening it up a little bit here and there for you guys, but yeah, I recently pulled a penny and I pulled. Uh, what was it? I also pulled, oh, I think it was uh, Iron Treads as the SIR. So, all right, guys, here we go. I believe it's one in the back still. So, let's go fire for the next one. All right, so Grass Energy, Pomo, Toad School. We got Rotom, Chansey, Patrician. We've got Picnic Basket, Bombardier, Metacham as reverse, a Muck as a reverse. Ooh, and speaking of Iron Treads. We get a hit, finally, let's go. Iron Treads EX, a regular Iron Treads. So not bad, not bad, very cool. And we go into our last pack of Scarlet and Violet. Let's see what we can pull. So, so far we've gotten two, two hits out of three packs. Let's see if we can go three for four in this box. Will this be a really good box? We're gonna find out here in just a moment. And again, it just seems like the code cards don't matter in this set, they really don't. It just seems like every time we get white code card, it really doesn't matter. Now, I know they've got black code card uh, variants of these packs, but in my area, I've been only getting the white ones so far. So, all right, let's go uh, steal for the next one. It is fighting. Rotom. We got Palpad, Flabebe, Toxel, Breloom, Kilowattrell. We got Heracross, Tarantula as a reverse, Zangoose as a reverse, and Palmot as the hollow. And unfortunately, nothing out of there. So we went two for four, not too bad. Now we go into the final box of the day here. And that is 11 booster packs. I was surprised with this number, 11 in Crown Zenith. And I am sure we're gonna hit some fire. Have to hit some fire out of this set, right? Because I'll tell you, every time it seems I, uh, I do a video, I, or at least I open this pack, uh, or I should say this pack set, it's just fire every time, every time. This set just does not let down. But let's see what 11 booster packs can do and let's hope it doesn't let us down. All right, let's go. Let's go Steel Energy for this one. It's fighting. We got Rescue Carrier, Jerf Rig, Pin Churchin, Ponyard, Tangela, Ball Toy. We got Galarian Meowth, Whalmer, Hoopa as the reverse and a Whale Lord. So we're starting off with a dud pack, so not a good start, but plenty of packs left to go. As you can see, we have 11 total booster packs, and we're probably going to at least see a couple hits. I would hope so, right? All right, here we go, guys. Next up, pack number two, and let's go fire, because we want a fire pack out of this one. No, it's a lightning, could be electric, uh, trekking shoes. Shame on, we got Fred's and Hisui. 
Ponyard, Tangela, Ball Toy, we got Glaring Meowth, Whalmer, Cherifurig in the reverse slot, and Toro. So 0 for 2. Ooh, boy. Okay. Now, we've had those kinds of starts before with the Pikachu boxes, and that's okay. Still, st we're still a little early. It's like baseball, you know? Things can happen in the sixth inning, you know? All right, here we go. Pack number three. Getting a little nervous, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's go water energy for the next one. It is grass. Friends in Snow, Gloom, Great Ball, Mr. Mime, Sunkern, Coughing, Oddish. We got Sandalit. Oh, there we go. A big hit so far. A Radiant Charizard. And that was it with Lux Race. So nice. Another Radiant Charizard. It's amazing. I, I still have been hitting nothing but the same Radiant a lot. And that's Charizard. Charizard's been hit a lot. I'm glad I've been hitting that more than the... Uh, the, uh, what is it? The Charbug, right? Charbug, and what's the other one? The Turtus? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I have pulled that Charizard probably now six times since we've done this journey together, guys. <laughs> six times. All right, here we go. Another code card for you guys. Four to the back. Let's go fire. I gotta get a fire call out, right? No, it's darkness this time. Uh, Shaman, Friends of Hisui, Carbonite, Energy Retrieval, and Molga. Love this. Chatat. We got Yanma, Luxray as the reverse, and a Leon uh, autograph card there in the rare slot. So I would still say that was not a decent pack because fortunately we already have the Leon. And uh, we're looking for, I think we're missing one or two more of the. Uh, Autograph card that is. Ooh, no. Get out of there. There we go. All right, here we go, guys. We're almost halfway there. I think this is pack number five, and it is. It is pack number five. Let's see what we can get out of pack number five. Still have not hit anything big. Uh, no Galarian galleries, anything like that. All right, let's go steal for the next one. It is lightning again, and we finally got another lightning one. Uh, Trekking shoes, so no. We got Pancham switch. We got snow run, Larvesta, Tangela. There we go, big hit right there. The Glaceon Vista. Oh, a double banger. Let's go, our first double banger right there. I've uh, been pulling that Volo a lot. That might have been my third or fourth one since starting this set. And Glaceon V-Star, two dupes, unfortunately. So nothing new that we've gained out of this set. But that was an amazing pack we just opened. So now it gives me hope to see what else we can pull out of this set. You know, I still have yet to have pulled a gold card and like a V-Star alt together or have multiple I think maybe we one time I think one time I think I've one time in a Pikachu V box two V star alt arts so we'll see if maybe we can do it uh, again here and uh still want to call an energy out of this set let's go grass for the next one there we go bam a dab number two we got Luxio trekking shoes shaman energy search scyther we got Relu Young Ghost, Cherubi, Entei as a reverse, and there is a hit, that is technically a hit, a V Zero Aura, now I do have that one, so it's all good, it's all good in the hood, alright, next one, here we go, come on, let's see if we can get some more Galarian Gallery cards we've not gotten for our collection, we still are hunting for some gold cards too, and that that Mewtwo. All right, here we go. It's a V-Star. Matane, Energy Switch, Trekking Shoes, Execute, Love This, Emolga, Yanma, Ponyard, Cricket Todd, and a Hatterene V-Max. It's all oh, a double banger number two. Let's go. But the Hatterene is for sure brand new for us. And that is a nice art, actually. Very, very uh, galactic-like. Look at that. Looks like a galaxy out there. And there's Hatterene just enjoying. Look like the stars in the Milky Way. That's a beautiful card, by the way. And, of course, let's give some love to Reggie Gygus. We also pulled just a regular V-Star of him. But we also have the uh, alt art of him as well from way back when we started opening the set. So two V-Stars. There you go. Two V-Stars in a box. Uh, my opinion of this box is it's a pretty good. Yeah, this has been a very decent decent box opening, and uh, we're a little worried. You know, the first two packs uh, gave us a little bit of a, a worry woe, but listen, it's Crown Zenith. 
don't ever doubt the greatness of that set because it's just been so good. All right, let's go uh, fighting energy for the next one. It is darkness, Solazzle, Pokemon Catcher, Rare Candy, Seal, we got Potion, Aeron, Corefish, Energy Search, Scyther, and there is a Deoxys Galarian Gallery into a Satchian V-Star. Oh my God. Three double bangers in this box, guys. Three double bangers. Now, what was good is I think that Satchian V-Star, that regular one, I did not have that one. I am pretty sure. But we do have the Deoxys, however, but that's okay. Man, we are racking up Crown Zenith. As always, I'll tell you this, if I could complete this whole set, I know we're getting there, but if I ever complete this set that's still around, I will gladly open it again just for fun of it. I will gladly open it again. This set is just too good. It's just too good. Oh my gosh. Definitely, definitely this box was well worth the price and it was $64.99 for the retail price. Whew. It was pricey, but it was very worth it. All right, let's go fire. No, water. Salazzle, Dusclop, Matane, Seal, Rockruff, Aeron, we got Riolu, Starly, and another <laughs> Radiant Charizard 2 in the box! Oh my gosh, what is going on? That's the... I, 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 seven. I think I pulled this card seven times. I swear I've only pulled one Charbug. I, as far as I remember, one Charbug, and I think I've pulled two or three Eternatus Shinies, but seven at least i am for sure anybody, anybody uh, know we're definitely giving away a zard in, in my next weekly giveaway guys if you don't know about that at twi uh, twitter at south gamer and check the community tab weekly starting tuesdays yeah we're definitely gonna i'm probably going to give away that one for sure all right here we go two radiant zards that's amazing all right let's go steal energy for the next one yes bam damn number three let's go ultra ball i'm having fun with this set is, is this just it's just a good set. I can't help it. It's just the best. There's your retrieval. Molga. Love this. Crocker Rock. Oh, and a Rayquaza. That's a hitter pack too, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what first two packs did you open? I don't know. I just didn't count those. You know, everything else has been fire, fire, and more fire. And uh, speaking of fire, can we get a lot of fire in the last pack magic? And uh, we'll see if we do. And I'm going to call fire for the last one. I have not gotten a fire one in a while, but let's see if we can get fire for the last pack of magic, baby. And here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's call fire. It is crass. No fire today. All right. Slazzle, Dusclops, Matane. We got Ponyard, Whalemur, Pokeball, Corefish, Oddish, Pokeball, and a Whalemur. Unfortunately, we ended on a bad one, but that's okay. Seems like seven or eight packs out of 11 definitely worth it absolutely a good buy all right everybody that's going to conclude this week's vlog at pack opening and another awesome pack opening as you can see two big hitters compliments of crown zenith the set just keeps on giving to everyone especially me i mean this set the rates are just too good the rates are just too good and i definitely highly recommend getting one of those figurine collection boxes so if you can get your hands on it Get it while you can before they're gone. So definitely worth it. And uh, guys, stay tuned for more, uh, especially coming up soon. I will be having another trade up challenge video and it was at Collecticon in Fort Worth, Texas. I just came back from that trip not too long ago by the time this video came out. So it was definitely worth the trip. Lots of fun. A lot of people came up to me and knew what we were about. So guys, thank you to everybody that came there if you are watching this video and hope to meet you in the future especially with a couple more shows down the road for collecticon that was fun so stay tuned for those uh but guys we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers we're getting there and uh let's keep the momentum running guys and as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one have a good one and peace out